Hello everybody, it's uh, Jeff Gibby back in the studio today to talk to you a little bit about a product that we've been working on for years now um, with Rob Hoffman. I want to show you it. It's been a lot of work, especially this summer and kind of getting everything exactly perfect and exactly right. I want to give you an idea of what it is, what's included with it, and give you an idea of, you know, why you should buy it and uh, why you might be interested in it. In, in really kind of what it does and what makes it special. So this one uh, we developed in conjunction with Rob Hoffman. If you're not familiar with Rob Hoffman, you should be. He's won more international and domestic trading competitions than anybody I know. And he's a really good trader, runs a trading room every day. Uh, really good guy. We have worked uh, pretty crazily over this summer, kind of getting this product ready and getting it rolling and getting it ready to go. And if you know Hoffman, he's got have, he's had his indicators available for Metastock for a number of years. Um, but what we wanted to do is we wanted to kind of create it in an automated way. You know, I love to create products that kind of help you with that decision-making process in real time. And um, we've really come up with, uh, with something that's very unique to um, Metastock, very unique to Rob Hoffman, and it's the first product in the world that actually takes Rob's Hoffman, Rob Hoffman's indicators and turns them into signals that you can see in a real-time basis. And in doing so, of course, you get all the other good things that come along with that, uh, like the ability to scan the markets and find real-time trading opportunities based on his setup, or the ability to kind of have your charts open and see that signal fire off real-time, have it send it to you in an email and that kind of stuff. It, uh, we've been working really, really hard on it. It's a product that I'm proud of, and I hope you really enjoy it. Um, let's go ahead and kind of talk to you a little bit about what it is. So. This is, obviously, if you're familiar with Hoffman's work, this is his, his indicator and his layout setup. Everything's uh, set up and works within the Metastock platform. Going to go through all the indicators and that kind of stuff as we get going through this. Um, we're, the, the name of this particular product is called Rob Hoffman's Pro Trader Pack Elite. Uh, it's got all of his indicators, his standard five indicators that he uses, they're built into the into the software application. And what we've actually added is, like I was saying before, the ability to scan for the markets, for the triggers, the ability to get expert advice, the ability to get alerts in a real-time basis, and the ability to know where your entry and exit points, points are through the use of like a commentary system. So it works really, really cool. Um, the indicators that we've included are the Hoffman Core Trigger, the Hoffman Fast Trigger, the MSR Daily, the Intraday, and then the Hoffman Oscillator. I'm going to kind of talk, talk to you a little bit about what those are, what they do, and I'll start with the MSR indicators. Basically, uh, Rob calls these the speed lines or the MSR indicators, and it, simply they're a collection of the moving averages Rob uses. Uh, he uses them um, for trend identification. We incorporated that into the expert. We incorporated that into the scanning. And uh, they're used to determine trend, and they're also de used to determine stops and entries. So his core and fast trigger uh, look very similar on a chart. They're basically, it's an oscillator. It measures momentum. Uh, the core trigger the difference between the core trigger and the fast trigger is the length of time that, that the indicators are looking at. So the fast trigger looks at, is a lot faster to adapt to market conditions. And uh, Rob actually, if you listen to the videos that he does, he actually recommends that you weigh it less than you would with the core trigger. So, and what I mean to say by that is, if you, if, for example, if you get one reading out of the core trigger, and let's say that it's in a bullish increasing mode, and your fast trigger is in a bearish increasing mode, you're actually going to put more weight on the core trigger than you do on the fast trigger, basically what it means. The indicators, as you can see here, they actually uh, oscillate between four different states. Those are going to either be bullish increasing if it's bright blue on the chart. If it's purple, uh, if the indicator is purple, it's actually going to be bullish, but it's going to be decreasing in that momentum. If it's, uh, if it's red, as you can see right here, where I'm pointing on the chart, then it's going to be uh, bearish and increasing in that momentum, whereas if it's right here, it's bearish and decreasing in the momentum. So that's basically your core trigger and your fast trigger. They look the same on the chart. Okay. 
Um, and again, as I said before, greater weight should be given to that core trigger. In other words, if you're getting kind of opposing, maybe you're getting an entry signal on the chart and you have uh, uh, conflicting signals out of your core and fast triggers, you'll actually give greater weight to that core trigger than you will to the fast trigger. Ideally, um, and Rob will, Rob will say this in a lot of the training sessions um, that he does, but ideally you want them all to match up. You want the core trigger to be, uh, in the case of a buy signal, you want the core trigger to be bullish increasing, you want the fast trigger to be bullish increasing, and you also want the other indicators to match as well. So. Um, the, uh, another one of the indicators that are on there is the Hoffman Oscillator. Uh, basically, this is an overbought or an oversold indicator. And basically, the way you read that is if you're during, if it's during a downtrend, and the stock I and this indicator is above 80, then there's going to be a likely resumption in the trend to the downside. And then the opposite is true in the trend to the up upside as well. Okay. So those are the indicators. Those are those have been available. They've actually been available for Metastock for quite a while. What we've actually done is we've kind of taken all of his award-winning setups. And these are award-winning setups. These are the setups that Rob uses to win his international trading cha championships. And we've actually created those into um, signals. And there's basically right now with the product, there's one, two, three, four, five five different things that we'll recognize. We're looking for what Rob calls an inven <laughs> inventory retracement bar buy or sell, a reverse inventory retracement buy or sell, and then your momentum shifts with trend and your momentum shift breakups and your momentum shift breakdown. So those are the setups that we're looking for. Um, when I say it's a setup that we're looking for, that could be in an expert. I'm gonna show you kind of how they look on a chart. Uh, it could be an alert that pops up when it happens on a chart. It could be something that you're scanning for. We've, we've integrated this all into the Metastock engine. So it basically gives it a lot of capabilities. And uh, uh, we'll, show, we'll talk a little bit about those, okay? Let's go ahead and go into the Metastock program. There's a couple of templates that are included with this. Um, this is the real-time template, okay? And what this does is this sets up all of the indicators for you. It sets up exactly the way Rob likes to look at his charts, the daily, the hourly, the 15, the 5, and the 2-minute charts, all on the same screen for you. And it also, of course, applies all of the indicators and applies them in a, in a real-time basis. Okay, let's go ahead and kind of take a closer look at this two minute chart. To do that, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and uh, pop it to full screen. And you'll see right here, this was uh, at about four o'clock today. This is a Friday afternoon then when I'm recording this. But you'll see right here, we had a uh, meta MS with WT on the chart. And when that happens, it's basically gonna show you Metastock, uh, this is a momentum shift with trend is what that means. So that's where it would have happened. Later in the day, we had an inventory retracement bar. Uh, earlier, we had a reverse inventory retracement bar. Here's an inventory retracement bar. So what we do is we, we actually call out these opportunities on the chart for you. We tell them when they happen. Here you've got your fast trigger. Of course, right now what we've got is we've got, um, according to the schedule, uh, if you're looking at the very end of the chart, we've got a, a bar that's bullish, uh, according to the fast trigger, but it's decreasing in bullish momentum, which is why it's purple. Down in the uh, core trigger, you can easily see that it's also the same situation. It's bullish, but it's decreasing in momentum. And then your Hoffman oscillator is uh, is, uh, well into the overbought range, okay? We also, if you if you use Metastock and if you've used it for a while, you know Metastock has a great commentary function. And I'm gonna show you really how that works on the chart. Uh, so if I, if I, if I right-click here, I'm gonna go ahead and go to the Expert Advisor. I'm gonna open up the commentary function for you. And immediately what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be looking at this particular day. Okay. Now there isn't, a, or on, I should say, this particular bar because we're actually looking at a two-minute chart here. And right here, what you're going to see is we're going to see the Hoffman trend bias. Okay, this is that bullish and bearish ribbon here. Right now, we're in a bullish basis on this Hoffman trend. Okay, our core trigger is bullish, but it's decreasing, and our fast trigger is bullish and decreasing. So this is what I like to call the dashboard. What this is doing is it's just kind of giving you a kind of an, a status update of what the indicators are, what they're doing, so that you can kind of look at them and very quickly get an understanding without having to look at the chart 
what the indicators are doing. Now, there isn't a signal on this very far right end bar, so we'd, we'd really talk a little bit about Rob Hoffman and what he does. But if I move this commentary back to where we had this inventory retracement bar, is, then we can kind of see what it would have said. Uh, well, at this particular time, it was right about 448, right before the market closed, so it's an inventory retracement bar. And in this particular case, our, our bias was bullish. Our core trigger was bullish and increasing in intensity, and our fast trigger was bullish and increasing with intensity. And what we do is we're going to go ahead and outline the bullish inventory retracement bar has signaled a potential long opportunity. It's basically going to tell you what you should do that. If you're interested in taking advantage of this signal, you should look to place a long trade. The bullish inventory retracement bar is a price action based breakout trade opportunity, and it's most effective in trending markets. Uh, gives you some ideas of what you can do with that trade. And for all of the patterns that we've created, it actually goes through and it kind of walks you through what the pattern is, what it's trying to accomplish, and gives you some details on it so that you have a pretty good understanding of what the actual opportunity is. Okay. In addition to that, we do have alerts that are programmed in. So if we had this, uh, this is the Russell. Um, contract, the TFSC1, that's a Russell contract. But if we had the alerts turned on we, and an inventory retracement bar actually po populated during uh, a trading bar, it can s pop up an alert on screen to actually tell you that that alert had that, that it occurred on the chart. And we, of course, can run scanning through our scanning capabilities to find any of the inventory retracement bars in the market so we're interested in. And I think I'll spend just a minute to show you really how that works. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to open up the Power Console. Um, here we've got the charting. I'm going to go ahead and go to the scanning tab. We call it the explorations here at Metastock. What I'm going to do is I'm going to come down here to the Hoffman, uh, the Hoffman screen. So I'll just go ahead and scroll down a little bit. We've got two scans in there. We've got the Hoffman inventory retracement signals and the Hoffman momentum signal. So they're different scans uh, depending on which one you're looking for. All you would do is you'd go ahead and select this is the one I want to look for. And then you would come down here and say, well, okay, let's look for an opportunity. Where do you want to look for an opportunity? Let's go ahead and select uh, the North American market. If I wanted to scan all of the optional stocks, I could go ahead and place a check mark right here. Go ahead and start that exploration, and it's going to go ahead and find all of our inventory retracement bars and all of our reverse inventory retracement bars. It'll give us a complete list of all of them. So very, very well, does, very, very well integrated into the Metastock platform. And really, as the, de the business development manager for Metastock, the people that I look to um, to help us create methodologies for you Metastock users are the championship traders. And these are literally the methods that Rob uses in his trading every day. Um, so let's go ahead and um, that's really kind of what I wanted to show you. Right here we've got a inventory retracement signal. Here's what the exploration report would look like. Uh, the name of the package again is Rob Hoffman's Pro Trader Pack Elite. I'd encourage you to give it a shot. Again, we've basically taken award-winning strategies. He's won so many awards right now and competitions um, uh, in real time with real money. Uh, I'd recommend you give it a shot. Let us know if there's anything we can do to help, and thanks for watching the demo.